Hello everybody, today is Friday, September 25th, 2020. It is 74 Fahrenheit, that is 23 Celsius. I'm going to be doing a walk of Tribeca. The time is 5.15 p.m. <laughs> Hello everybody, today is Friday, September 25th, 2020, 5.15 p.m. It is 73 Fahrenheit, 23 Celsius. I'm at the Canal Street subway station and I'm going to be doing a walk of Tribeca today, which stands for the Triangle Below Canal Street. Out of the station. So here's Canal Street. Street hustler vendors selling things such as Louis Vuitton bags and other kinds of things. There are a lot of them. Man, that guy on the uh, single wheeled electric vehicle is moving fast. I don't even know what those are called. Hoverboards? So busy here on Broadway and Canal. Wow, this person's even going right up to the person and showing them a watch or something. Be aware that all these goods that you buy from here, they're not the original brand. That's definitely not a Louis Vuitton bag. But then again, I'm not really one to promote the purchase of counterfeit goods. I'd rather just buy a cheaper brand that's a better quality than having a fake Louis Vuitton bag that I know is not the real thing. I wouldn't get any satisfaction from that, but I guess people have their desires. So this is Tribeca walking along Broadway. Also the western boundary of Chinatown. There's Pearl River Mart, the um, Chinese goods store. I'm going to walk one block to the west because I'm sure many of you have seen Broadway many times already in Tribeca. Noisy dog. There's the kind of goods you can get at the Pearl River Mart. Slippers, shoes, headbands such as that. Statues. Wonder what's going on here. They're moving stuff into the building. It's an art gallery. Portolami Gallery.
Wow, there's another one over here with the same name, Fort Salami Gallery. And over there on the other side is another art gallery, James Cohen. I wasn't even aware that there were so many art galleries on this street here. There's another art gallery. Empower Your Smile Cosmetic Dentistry Store or Office, I should say. So this is Church Street named so because there are churches along the street no surprise there here's Anejo I think that's how you pronounce it having outdoor dining by the way it was just announced today that outdoor dining will be made a permanent feature of the New York City restaurant uh, business so if a business wants to offer outdoor dining year round, they can. Before it was gonna end on October 31st, but because it's done so well in New York, they wanna make it permanent. Although, I don't know if people will be willing to go out and eat when it's like freezing outside. So over here, we have the Jenga building called the Jenga building after the game where you start pulling blocks and hoping it doesn't fall down. I always think it's a cool design. This is White Street and Church Street. The official address of this skyscraper, the Jenga building, is 56 Leonard Street. It was designed by the Swiss architecture firm Herzog and de Muron, describing the building as houses stacked in the sky. Tallest skyscraper in Tribeca, by the way. Here's some subway screeching. Church Street is where the A, C, and E trains run underneath in this section of Manhattan. This is the intersection of West Broadway and Church Street. Actually, I take that back. I don't think it is West Broadway. It's, it's twice as expensive. That's uh, 6th Avenue. West Broadway is a block away. But that's where Varick Street and West Broadway intersect, which is a block away. Over here, it's 6th Avenue and Church Street. Here's the Jenga building again from the base. And we have a restaurant here called the Two Hands. I love their blue style decor with the umbrellas, blue and white umbrellas. Another block in. Yeah. 
I can't make this light. So I'm gonna have to wait. Down there, just a few blocks south of me is the World Trade Center area. You can make out the beginnings of the Oculus World Trade Center shopping mall. So walking one block west to West Broadway, named so because it's west of Broadway. Another look at this impressive structure. I've got to flip the camera almost vertical just to see it from here. Over on this side, it's a little bit more quiet on West Broadway. Also forgot to mention the name of Tribeca. It's a little bit misleading because even though it's called the Triangle Below Canal Street, the shape is really more like a trapezoid, but Triangle sounds better than trapezoid, so they stuck with triangle. All right, here's West Broadway, Leonard Street and Varick Street. As I said before, all three streets converge right here. Also, this is the building for New York Law School. Supply store, pamper up your pet with free delivery. Also, some very interesting puppets in the window for dogs. Here's Wharf Street, which has been under reconstruction for a long, long time now. I think the city's redoing the sewer pipes and the water mains here. Every time I come down here, it's a massive project on Wharf Street. Who knows how long those pipes have been there before the uh, reconstruction. I read that some of these pipes there even close to a century old. Here you can see the functional art that the city installed on the subway grate right here. Looks like a combination bicycle lock and a bench. Although I wouldn't really prefer locking my bike up there because it's very easy to just lose your key down the subway grate, so just be mindful of that. 
Here's the Odeon cafeteria. They've got a very large outdoor seating area. Temperatures are still holding up for outdoor seating, so I'm glad these restaurants are still able to do some business. Edwards across the streets. Nice little outdoor seating area over there at that corner. I just crossed over Duane Street. Next street is Reed Street. Fun little fact, this is where the pharmacy Duane Reed started. I believe there's a big Duane Reed just a block to the west of me on Church Street between Duane and Reed. That's where Duane Reed comes from. If it's not Church Street, it's Broadway. Is this kind of cool? Tiny's the bar next door. Really liking the vibe over here with the pink decorations. Although I don't know where the Tiny's bar next door comes from. Are they around the corner and they're taking over the outdoor seating? Hmm. Interesting. I still can't figure out where they are. i never seen that before where there's a outdoor seating area and they have no storefront in front or directly like near it. I've seen outdoor seating across the street from where they're supposed to have the seating. Here's Serafina restaurant. Looking lively over here. And here we have Chamber Streets, One World Trade Center in the background. And Chamber Street is where I'm going to end this video. If you enjoyed this live walk of New York City in the neighborhood of Tribeca, be sure to smash the like button for me, subscribe for some more videos and live streams, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, folks.